Hello my friends, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is a square root of 3 times a square root of 3 times x plus 1 times a square root of 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 9 to find the values of x. In the first step, we square both sides of this equation and it will be this to the power of 2 and this to the power of 2. And here, this power of 2 will cancel this square root and it will be 3 square root of 3 times x plus 1 times x square root of 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 9 to the power of 2, which will be 81. And next step, we divide both sides of the equation by 81, so by 3, and it will be 1, and this by 3, it will be 20. 7. And in next step, we square both sides of this equation, so this to the power of 2 and this to the power of 2, right? This power of 2 will cancel this square root and it will be 3 times x plus 1 times square root of 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the power of 2 and it will be 729. And next step, we divide both sides of the equation by 3. So this divided by 3, it will be 1. And this divided by 3, it will be 243. So in next step, we let a square root of 3 times x plus 1 as t. So in here, we raise both sides of the equation by power of 2. So it will be this to the power of 2, it will be 3 times x plus 1, and this to the power of 2, it will be t squared. And in next step, we divide both sides of the equation by 3, so x plus 1 is equal to t squared over 3. So, for, from this and this equation, from these two equations, we write this equation and it will be in here we have x plus 1 and x plus 1 is t square over 3. So we write t square over 3 times this is equal to t, right? Times t is equal to 243, right? 243. And it will be 3 square, t squared times t, it will be t cubed over 3, it will be 243. And next step, we multiply both sides of the equation by 3, so t cubed is equal to this times 3, it will be 729. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 3, right? So t cubed is equal to 9 to the power of 3 and from here t is equal to 9. So in next step we recall this square root of t times x plus 1 is equal to t. So we write a square root of 3 times x plus 1 is equal to t and t is 9. And we raise both sides of this equation to the power of 2 and it will be 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 9 to the power of 2 is 81. And from here, x plus 1 is equal to 27, right? We divide both of the equation by 3. And x is equal to 26. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.